go, there you go, and... Done, da da. And today, of course, we'll be telling you about coronavirus updates, and yeah, let's go! <laughs> so guys, you know, one thing I really wanted to talk about today is, you know, the lockdown has been extended by a further two weeks, we know that now. And um, we will be together in our homes on lockdown for that period. And one thing that I would like to ask is for us to be kinder towards each other. Um, whether it's husband and wife or, you know, mother to child or, you know, brother to sister. I think that um, we really do have to be kinder towards each other. Um, there has been a lot of issues um, on social media and other platforms where people have been talking about concerns of, you know, gender uh, violence um, and child abuse and all of these type of things. And we should really, really consider this um, when we're at home with our loved ones. This is exactly who we're with, our loved ones. Um, it's not our enemy. It's not somebody to take our frustrations out on. It is our family. So I really do feel that we should be more kind towards each other, if, if I could make that plea. Um, as I always go about and I always say is that we have to be very, very stringent and careful with our hygiene. Um, the pretty girl is always the one to keep us informed about the hygiene methods and how to stay safe. And as usual, I'll ask her again. Pretty girl, so first off, I want to ask, how can we be nicer towards each other? Don't yell for no apparent reason. Makes like, sense. just don't. Yeah. If there's like a good reason that you're not doing something you're supposed to do like five hours ago, then it's okay. But don't do it for like any reason. Mm -hmm. I really like that. That's a great one. And a lot of people, they, they yell and you know, yelling can really make like, let's say if someone is shy, it could really make them break their spirits. They could never be a confident person because of such things. So you're quite right, yelling out of the question, out of the question, out the window with that one. Um, and I was going to ask you about the hygiene. So how can people stay safe? Coronavirus, lockdown, there's all types of things that we just found out. We found out that the virus can be airborne as well, uh, meaning that if somebody coughs, they can still hang around in the air for a while. What can they do? So, sorry that I'm flying so much, I don't know why. So, wash your hands with soap and water for at least 20 seconds from here to here because that's where you're coughing. You don't want to be like touching people with it or whatever. Um, use sanitizer, hand sanitizer that has at least 60% alcohol in it, otherwise, it won't really work. And if you go in public to buy shopping, not like shoes or clothes, to buy food, like if you've completely run out of food, um, wear a mask because, as he said, it can be airborne, wear glasses because it can also get into your eyes. So, yeah, and um, don't do handshakes, don't do that. You can do the show, the elbow, sorry, the foot, and yeah. And I was going to ask you about the mask, uh, you were just saying that if, if you're going out, always uh, try and use a mask. Now, if someone had to make, like, let's say, a cloth mask when they go out, is that acceptable? I think it is. If you can use a cloth it is. It is. or, like, a normal mask, that will work well because it is not, like, if the virus is able and you need the barrier between your mouth. And don't touch your eyes, ears, nose, mouth. And when you're done with that mask, if it's fabric that you actually need, wash it. Immediately, yeah. Yeah, but if you don't really need it, throw it away. And dispose of it carefully because you don't want somebody else who has to come and pick up that mask or that tissue or whatever you're using and then get, you know, sick. Yeah. Yeah. Put it in the bin. But 100%. wearing a mask at home doesn't work because why would it be in the bin at home? Yeah, yeah, well, you know, lockdown, so you've got to be careful. Once you're at home, you've got to still be careful. That's why they say at home, hygiene is one of the most important things to practice. Even if you receive goods from somebody, at least give it a wipe down. You know what I mean? Don't just take things from people's hands. Or well, let you know. it sit in your garage yeah. for at least three days to kill you the could, germs. You could infect your own home. Exactly. Yeah, so that that's, you know, something that you have to always keep in mind. But I'm so, you know, thank you so much, uh, pretty girl. I'm so proud of you. You always come with the good, good ideas, good tips on how to keep your hygiene up. And um, yeah, that's our work for today. Like I was saying, I would really like for us to be much, much more nicer towards each other. Um, much love to everybody out there. 
yeah, stay safe and, and look after each other. Those that are less uh, able to, like the elderly or the youth, please, man, try and lend a helping hand out to them. Um, see boy, Dandara. I'm your girlfriend, go. We'll see you in the next one. Boom.